Good morning ladies, welcome back to Robin's Beauty Over 50. Today I'm going to be doing a full face look, so it's going to be three hours long. It is going to be a long one, so if you enjoy that sort of thing, you can stick around for the whole thing. If not, I'm going to have some things time stamped below, so um, you can go straight to that part of the video. Um, I will be listing everything that I have used down in the description box. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to be just picking random products to use. And I'm going to be doing um, a full face of makeup, so this is probably going to be a long video. So, the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face, and I'm going to use the, I think this is the, what is this, Backlight? Backlight Priming Filter by Becca. I'm going to put that on first, take two pumps of that all over my face. I use this all over my face. And as you can see, it brings us a really pretty glow. Uh, a really pretty glow to my face and then I'm going to go in with the elf putty primer <clears throat> elf putty primer and I'm going to put it just in the places that I have uh, the most pores so I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking over here because this is where my mirror is, and this is that's why there's so much more light <clears throat> on this side of me. So I have the putty primer over top of that Becca, and then I press it in. You can still see the Becca shining through, but this takes care of the pores for me. It's a great product. I did a um, this or that on this product. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to go in with the Snatural look that Tati showed us how to do. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is the um, Age Rewind in the Brightener. As you can see, I have terrible dark under eyes and they seem to just be getting darker as I get older maybe I'm not getting enough sleep I don't know and I'm going to be taking um, this beauty blender and this is just a beauty blender I got off of I think I got these off of Amazon and they come in a pack of five and they work just as well as a $20 beauty blender. And I think I got them for like $8. They work just as well. Let me push that all into my under eyes. <clears throat> and then I'm going in with my regular concealer. And I've been using this new Maybelline Superstay. This is a great concealer. I heard about this on Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. <clears throat> and she's usually spot on with her stuff. So I went ahead and got it. Put it down my nose. And then right here. I went ahead and got it and I really like it. It's a really uh, good concealer. And press that all in my under eyes. <clears throat> and give me the line down the nose. So I had a great birthday. My birthday was September 18th. And uh, my daughter had us over to her house and all my kids were there my son my sons and my daughter and my grandbabies and it was wonderful I got a necklace I got a passport holder I got some flowers 
and I got um, a Longhorn gift, gift certificate to go eat. It's my favorite place to eat is Longhorn. They have the best, best steak in my opinion. Now I'm going to, um, nope, that's not next. I'm going to use this new contour stick that I got. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick. And you can use this for foundation or contour. It says contour, so that's what I'm going to use it for. Put that up there. And then contour out my, my cheeks. And my nose and if this is the first time that you've seen this natural look <laughs> you can go check Tati's uh, a lot of a lot of people have done this um, makeup look since it came out this has been probably what eight months ago six months ago with Bill is it Bill Barnes um, I can't I can't remember his name <laughs> Anyway, he's the one that came up with it. He's J-Lo's makeup artist. And the reason behind the doing the contour um, and the concealer first is that you get a more natural look. I don't go down here with it. I put, um, I put my powder down here. It looks more natural to me. You put this on first, and then you go over top of it with your foundation. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to use a pump of the True Match Lumi. <clears throat> this is in Cool. Is this Cool? I don't know. I don't know what. Let's see. Hang on. C5. Classic Beige. Yep. So I'm going to put a pump of that, a pump and a half of that on the back of my hand. Today I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. And this is lighter than this, so it evens it out. Plus the Charlotte Tilbury is just a little bit too dry for me. And the Lumi is definitely luminous. So I like that about it. So I've got it mixed on my hand and I'm going to put it on my face. And I'm going to take a new beauty blender and press that all up in my face. Yes, yeah, so like I was saying, I had a great birthday. September was a good month. October hasn't started off that great. <laughs> <clears throat> but that's the way life goes. I mean, when you're like going along. And, you know, you think things are going great, and then they turn out, they come up on a month when you're like, okay, this is going to be one of those months that's going to be a testing month. Show what I'm made of, that's all right. We have those in life. You hit it with positivity. Sometimes it's hard to do that. It really is. Um, but if you go in it positively, like I said, it's better than going in it with a bad attitude. So I'm going to push a little bit of that foundation underneath my eyes to kind of tone down that white look underneath my eyes. I think I got it. It's really pretty. That's a really pretty look. Put, pull this out and come up. That's really pretty. I like a really luminous look, so I've got that Becca on. Excuse me. And I've got um, that Lumi foundation. <clears throat> Alright, the next thing I do is I go in and I set all of that and I'm going to be using to set underneath my eyes I'm going to be using the La Mercier secret brightening powder I've talked about this before <clears throat> first I'm going to push 
push all of that product in so I don't have any uh, lines, caverns I like to call them because I have I have huge uh, wrinkles, mostly in my forehead. My under eyes have stayed pretty good and I think that that, that I'm 50, 55 and I think the reason that is is because I started using eye cream. I started using eye cream before I even started using face cream. So I started doing that and then um, it uh, has definitely lasted throughout the years. It's definitely held my under eyes better. I'm going to put a little bit, bit of this wet and wild contour in this color right here, the, the banana shade underneath there. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm going to go in with my Flower Beauty Illusion Light Powder, Perfecting Powder, and I'm going to set the face. I have so many steps to my makeup that that's why it takes so long um, to do it. I'm hitting pan on that. Okay, I'm going to go all over my face and set that foundation. Beautiful powder. I did a this or that also with, with this and the Charlotte Tilbury powder. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm going to take a I'm going to take a a pad, a pad, a Q-tip, and then I wipe that foundation out of my eyebrows. I'm sorry if that grosses you out. I know when someone else does it, it grosses me out too. I don't know why that is, but it does. <clears throat> so I did. I got a lot out of that. Now I'm going to do my my eyebrows and I'm going to be using this elf brow pencil and this is in the color taupe I believe it doesn't have the color on it I believe it's taupe <clears throat> and it works really well it's not as good as my L'Oreal brow define but it's a pretty good, it's pretty good brow product. I bring it up and I give myself the arch. And then I take the top of it and I meet that arch. I go up and I meet it. Get rid of some of it. Put too much on. <clears throat> Tell me what you think about these long videos. I may do time stamps in it so you can like uh, push forward to whether you want to see the eye look, the face look, the lips, whatever you want to see. I may time stamp it down below because I don't want to bore you and I'm not going to fast forward through it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it. Bring it over. And go up uh, and down. <clears throat> I have an, one other um, video that is a full face of my favorite products. These are just random products that I pick. I do that every day. I don't sit down and do a face that I have planned out. I pick a random product every day and use it. That way I know, I can pretty much know the products that I really like to use and I get a good idea of those. And I've got a big bald spot right here so I need to take care of that. 
Okay, and then I go over top of that with a new product, which is the Brow Stylist Plumper by L'Oreal. This is a good product. Um, it's very, very wet. And then I just take it and I go up with my eyebrows to push them up because I like that, that look. I won't dip it back in for the other for the second eyebrow because there is so much product on the brush. And if if you've been with me any any amount of time, you know this is not my last lash product. <laughs> I am that person. I am that extra. Now, I have just started to bake, so I'm going to do that. I did a Thursday, a three-minute uh, three minute tip Thursday on the baking. So, how I bake my face is I don't get it in right here because in here where all my um, pores are, it looks bad. It looks really bad, really cakey. I put it on the outside right here, and that's where usually all of my fallout is when I do my when I do my eyeshadow. So I do it there. And then I like and then I carve my nose out with it. Try really hard not to get it in that spot. And then I carve out that jawline, not the jawline, the cheek. And then I also, this was the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I also go in with that on my eyelids. I'm going to press out all of the, um, wrinkles in my eyelids, the texture. This helps the, um, the eyeshadow go on smoother. I um, have always said it doesn't matter how old you are, do what makes you feel good, and um, if you want to bake, there's a lot of powder on, on that, if you want to bake, then bake, you know, um, you'll figure out what looks good on you and what doesn't, it's not about what everybody tells you to do. If you want to try it, try it, you know. I go to work with this face every day, so um, I'm not there to impress anybody. They've seen me, they know me, so it's, you know, it's trial and error with me every single day. So, now I start with the eyes, and I'm gonna, like I always do, I go in with my L'Oreal, this is, yeah, L'Oreal with the uh, hit major pan on that. But in addition to the powder, I go ahead with this eyeshadow and put down a base. <clears throat> put down a base. There we go. Now, I'm going to use the Born to Run eyeshadow palette today. This is a fantastic palette. There's cools, there's warms. You can get a coral look, you can get a green look, you can get a um, pink purple look, um, you can get a smoky look, and you can get a brown look. I mean, it's just gorgeous. You can get any look you want. So, hang on just one second. Okay, I had to go find my... Um, Too Faced Lip Injection, so now I'm going to wipe off everything that's on my lips, 
all these products I'll have listed down below. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna put this on to plump them up a little bit. What do you guys think about fillers and Botox? I don't have the money to get it, any of that. So, I'm just curious what you guys have done or what you think is okay. You know me, I'm good with whatever. <laughs> uh, I think if you want to do it, do it. I think that the thing that I would do if I could afford it is do the research on who does it. And then... Um, and then, yeah, then, then you can make your mind up on how and what you want to get done. All right, the first, the first color I'm going to go in with is Still Shot, which is this pretty peach color. <clears throat> I'm going to use that as a transition. This, do you think this is a, the, that the face was long? My eye look, and I'm not done with the face. My eye looks are long. I'm trying to perfect the blending technique, and I have not perfected that yet. I've been doing this, oh my goodness, I've been working with, intensely working with my, eye makeup and my uh, face stuff, pretty much my eye blending for about five years and I still don't have it down. But I also think, I have to give myself some credit, I also think I have the crepiest eyelids. And I think that that has a lot to do with it, too, because I look at these ladies, and their eyelids are so smooth, and their eye makeup goes on so nicely, and I'm like, mm. I wish my eyelids were like that, but they're not. <clears throat> My air conditioning just came on. I'm glad about that. I get so hot when I'm doing my makeup. Okay. So I've got that transition color on. That was a Sigma brush. This is also a Sigma brush. E25. I think that was an E35. This one is the one that's more slanted. Then I'm going to go in with I think I'm going to use Ignite right here. It's that copper color that's underneath Still Shot. I'm going to get quite a bit of that, and I'm going right over top of that transition. This has got shimmer in it, a little bit of shimmer, maybe a satin. I didn't light my candles this morning. Sometimes I just like to light them when I'm in here by myself because it makes me feel all special. <laughs> and, you know, since this is, this really is, this plus spending time with my husband in the evening is my most, I love this time of day. <clears throat> I love everything about it. Me and my husband watch shows in the evening. We just finished, oh geez, The Secret Affair of Harry Kube on Prime. That was really good. That's got, I think it's McDreamy, the guy that was in that show. Oh geez, I can't remember what his name is now. He's one of the good-looking ones that's in that show. It's about him. He's a writer. <clears throat> well, yeah, I won't tell you the story. 
I'm going back in with still shot to go over top of that a little bit more. Try to blend it out. I think this is where I go wrong. <laughs> I think I try to, to put too much product on and it just doesn't turn out well for me. Okay, so I went over top of Ignite right at the top <clears throat> with a little bit more of that transition shade. Excuse me. Okay, and then I'm going to go in the corner. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. Don't have the number. This is like a, a packer brush. <clears throat> and I'm going to go in with Baja, which is this orange shade right there. And I'm going to put that in the corner. These are pretty shades. They're very pigmented and they work really well. Let me put that in the corner. Oranges, corals are one of my favorite looks. And pinks and purples are one of my favorite looks. Sometimes I do this. Sometimes I take that and I bring it all the way in. I'm going to do that today. So you're going to have, and I'll turn it over, some of that outer corner in the crease as well. <clears throat> what have you guys got planned today? You going to work? You home with babies? A lady at our church that just had a grandbaby and she is just beside herself. She is so excited. And there's something about those grandbabies, I'll tell you. It's a whole different world. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with. Here it is. This is my, is it Lancome? No, it's always my Trish McAvoy. I'm not taking any product on it, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to blend that out. <clears throat> I'm going to turn it on its side and do some blending. To the top of it. I didn't do that, did I? I didn't pull that shade over on this eye. On this eye. I don't match. A lot of times I don't match my makeup with my clothes um, because I like to do whatever I want to do in the morning and I wear a lot of neutrals anyway so it will work most most of my makeups makeup um, looks will work all right I am going to take This pencil brush, and this is a Yonique, or Yonique, or however you say it. I bought when they first came out with those fiber lashes. I bought some. I thought they were so cool, and they are. They're very. It's very cool. Okay, I'm gonna go in with. Hang on, let me check these two colors. I'm gonna go in with Punk, which is this dark, dark brown. And I'm going to put it underneath the eye. Let's 
smudge it underneath the eye. I'm going to bring it up a little on the outside. Give it a little bit of a V there for, for definition. <clears throat> Don't notice a lot of fallout. with this look. I don't mind fallout. I know there are people that get all bent out of shape. <laughs> but I found that since I started baking, it 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 doesn't really matter because mine my, my uh, fallout is usually on the side, so Okay, so that's that underneath, and then I'm going to go in with, let's see which one. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with Blaze, which is this shimmer right here, on my finger, and I'm going to put it right on the mobile lid. And a little bit more color or definition to it. Okay, hang on, I don't have enough. You me, gotta have more is more, as Tati would say. And then I'm going to go back over with the outer, that outer corner color, and I'm going to blend those two together, give it like a more smooth look. Okay, now I'm going to go in, I told you this was going to be long, <laughs> I'm going to go in with that same color blaze, and I'm going to put that in the inner corner, right there in that inner corner, and bring it over to that brown a little bit. what it is about putting makeup on in the morning. My nose wants to run. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go back in with the transition brush and I'm going to go in with, which one do I want to go in with? We're going to go in with Weekender right here it's kind of a neutral color and I'm gonna I'm gonna put bring those inner shades together I'm getting stuff on my elbow <laughs> uh, okay so I need a little bit more sometimes I bring my shape my shades over to the inside underneath my eyebrow, but not a lot. All right, that's that palette. Now I need to dust off my bake, so I'm going to do that now. No fallout. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to go in with my beloved L'Oreal Voluminous Primer for my lashes. I love this stuff. I've been going to every other night or every third night with my lash serum, and I've been using the um, Rodan and Fields Lash Boost. Actually, that lash primer is the primer that I have seen the most growth, and it is starting to like just keep them. It's starting to not make them grow. They keep it keeps them full. 
but it's not making them grow like it used to. So I may need to switch up my lash primers. And that's an expensive thing to do. I think you can get you can get some lash primers that aren't quite so expensive. Not lash primers, lash serums, I'm sorry. That's the last thing that I will do before I go to bed at night is to put that serum on my lashes about every other night. When I first started, I used it every night. And I could see a difference within about a week with the fullness in my lashes. And then about two weeks, I started to notice that they were growing. <clears throat> I let this set on my face for a while before I put my, um, before I put my mascara on. Now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f contour palette and I love this palette <clears throat> Where is it? there it is I'm going in with the one that's hit pan doesn't have a name on it it's the next to the darkest and I'm gonna bronze out and contour out that side of my face underneath my cheeks I'm gonna put I'm up here in my line that does look a lot darker as I'm putting it doesn't look that dark when I'm sitting here and this is what I use for the jaw but I honestly don't think that there's anything that's gonna <laughs> surgery but I don't think there's a lot of makeup that's gonna take care of that jawline I tell you what will take care of it is losing weight. That usually always takes care of it. And you would think that that would be my biggest incentive to lose weight. I did lose, I did a, um, in a couple of my car vlogs, if you've been with me for a while, you do know that I have lost some weight. I lost 26 pounds. Then I put some back on, so I need to go back on my diet. I didn't put it all back on, but I have, I have put about five pounds of it back on. Okay, and then I'm going to take this brush here, go back into that same shade in the e.l.f., and I'm going to go down that nose and contour out my nose. <clears throat> And the air conditioner can come on any time now because I'm roasting. Contour the nose. And then I'm going to contour the underneath, underneath here. And you can see that as I contour that. And then... I go in with my blush and today I'm going to be using the Flower Beauty, yeah, the Flower Beauty in Peach Primrose. It's so pretty. It goes with this look because I've got like the oranges on my, on my eyes and I take the edge of it and I go over that, that white and you can still see that the lightest shade contouring underneath there my cheek I use a lot of blush I especially use a lot of blush on days that I'm filming because it seems like it doesn't pick up on camera and if I don't I look dead <laughs> we don't want that <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury <clears throat> Flawless Filter. Is this filter, flawless filter, yeah. And I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to bring it up and around that eyebrow, down the cheek. 
And do the other side. <clears throat> a nice glow on those cheeks um, then I'm going to go in with my Ulta Beauty Baked Sculpt and Glow I'm going to go into the um, highlight shade in there and I'm going to put it right on the tip of my nose right there a little bit on the bridge and then my cheek area right here found if I use the Charlotte Tilbury on the cheeks, it tends to want to take off my, my makeup underneath. So, I'm going to do that. Then I go in with my powder, and I've been using the Flower Beauty <coughs> Miracle Glow Satin Finish Powder. It's a really pretty powder. It's got kind of a peach, peachy undertone to it. And then I'm going to take my a powder puff and I'm going to press this into my skin. That's what gives that airbrushed finish to my face. I think it looks really good. I use a lot of powder. That's another thing that they say older women shouldn't do that. I use a lot of powder. I um of course you know everybody is not going to everybody is not going to do a face like mine because <laughs> Because I use a lot of stuff. I mean I I mean I go full glam every single day. Um, so not everybody feels comfortable doing that and I get that so I mean, you don't have to do what I do do what makes you feel comfortable but I'm going to use the Morphe continuous spray setting spray I'm going to use a lot of it and I'm going to dry it I'm going to I'm drying my face a little bit. It feels so good. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm going to go in with my mascara, my Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect in the green. Love this stuff. It is taken over my holy grail, which was the, where's it at? I know what's in here. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I got, I ran out. It's take, it has taken over the um, Hourglass Extreme Caution, or Caution Extreme. I don't know which is which. Do my top lashes. If you sticked around, stick. If you stuck around for this whole video, I give you props. This is, this is a long video. Sometimes I think, you know, Robin, <laughs> you take so long to get ready, but I love it. So I'm like, you know, it makes me happy. So I'm going to do another coat on this side. Two coats on top, one coat on bottom, same thing as I do with my um, primer. Okay. Into the top lashes. Now, I don't go in with my bottom lashes yet because I don't want that to transfer down on my lower. So what I do, okay, I need to, okay, so if I see them clumping up, I'll take this brush here and I will unclump them like that. 
sometimes they just want to clump up like they just want to stay clumped today I don't know they want to be friends <laughs> then I go into back into this highlight shade in this Ulta palette and I start right there underneath that eyebrow and I go all the way over and down crazy a lot of makeup I know you're probably sitting there thinking geez like that all of that my last very last step for my eyebrows is this CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow in Clear. And I just put that on my eyebrows and I turn it on its side and I bring it back up. I like that bushy look. <clears throat> last thing on my face that I do is my lower lashes and I'm still using this extreme what is this express secret express I think this has fibers in it and I just put one coat on my bottom lashes it makes a huge difference though All right, I will be back to show you the lips. Okay, one of the last things that I do before I walk out the door is I do my lips. And I've already put the, um, to give it the pouty look, I've already put the Age Rewind um, brightener in the middle. And now I'm going to go in with my um, liner. And this is the L'Oreal colorish and you didn't know what color it is it's like a burgundy I can't read it all right maybe get it like that down like that color in the outsides I don't do this every day this particular lip look but I like it when I do it I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to go in with the IT CC gloss and I'm going to put that right in here that I was recording right over top of that concealer how pretty that looks all right and the very very last thing I do in my routine is put on my um, perfume and today I'm using the uh, Elizabeth James Nirvana French Grey beautiful beautiful bottle beautiful scent and that is my extremely long extremely long um, makeup routine just using random products um, that I that I have in my collection or my stash if you stayed for this whole thing God bless you um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you, so click that little subscribe button down below. If you are, thank you so much for sticking around and supporting me. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will be back here on Thursday with my three-minute tip. You guys have a great week.